Hello everyone. Welcome back to the book corner. So today is Glorious Friday. <laughs> yes, I'm very happy about that. Um, before I begin, I'm going to kind of change the title of what I'm reading next to today's date so that, you know, but um, I am currently reading uh, Death of a Gossip and uh, the second book in the Magical Bakery Mystery. So, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to have uh, that, I'm going to have the Death of a Gossip probably done. I'm on chapter uh, four right now. It's on, you can only read it on the Libby app. So, um, I will be probably done with that book. There's like seven chapters in that book. I'll probably be done with it probably either um, tomorrow or Sunday. So, one of those two days. So, if, I'm, if I get done with it on a Sunday, you'll get a review of it on Monday. All right. So, uh, this is book I finished reading, I believe it was yesterday or the day before. And uh, after this video, I'm going to be doing a, well, I'm going to be uploading a video showing you guys what my bookshelf looks like now. So, yeah. So, this is Secondhand Spirits by Juliet Blackwell. This is a witchcraft mystery. And it's about a woman called um, Lily Ivory who is a uh, who is a woman who owns a vintage shop but she also happens to be a natural born witch and this deals with um, the uh, I, I cannot pronounce the spirit's name so I'm not going to even attempt to but she is uh, a spirit that is very famous in uh, Latin American or Mexican folklore. One of the two. I, I'm not really that, uh, I'm not that knowledgeable in her, so I'm just kind of taking an educated guess. So if I offended anyone, I'm truly sorry. Um, so uh, this little girl ends up, uh, vanishing this elderly lady ends up dead and she has to figure out what the heck is going on I absolutely loved this book I got this as a Kindle edition a couple of months back I decided to go ahead and buy it as a physical copy it is just absolutely absolutely a wonderful uh, book I enjoyed the world building and the character development and all the things that Lily goes through and this community in California that is definitely not what it appears to be under the surface, not above the surface or at surface level. Uh, she's introduced to her familiar that is named um, Oscar. Uh, it is actually, I believe it is actually uh, her friend who names the pot belly pig or gargoyle Oscar. So it, it was, a, it was, a, there was a cute little thing. We're like a little Oscar poo. I, I'm, I'm saying it, it was adorable. It was adorable and funny at the same time. And Oscar develops a big old head. And uh, he also gets something else. I, I don't know if it's in this book or the next book. Or one of the future books but he gets a pillow with his name on it because well the girls are nutty about him and uh, they think he's so cute uh, but anyways um, yeah I, I have gnats for some unknown reason I have gnats so yeah um, I, I think it's my neighbor across the street across the way but yeah so uh, this is a really great book I highly recommend it uh, she does another one called it's a home restoration uh, mystery. I do not have any of the books on Kindle or in physical. But uh, five stars, really great book, and uh, definitely worth the read, and definitely worth the money you spend on it. So I'm in there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys around. 